but I wouldn't mind being able to scale tall buildings in a single leap, or to hang from the ceiling by my toe. One man is trying to develop a suit that will allow him to do just that. You see, a new critter has fallen under the scientist's gaze. The gecko. If you believe that fact is stranger than fiction, bioinspiration is leading research scientists into the world of science fiction, where one day, in the not too distant future, everyone can become a superhero. Professor Metton City and other scientists like him want to take animal powers even further, using them to revolutionise the way we explore other planets. The gecko is like no other animal on Earth. With no suction cups or Velcro-like hooks, it can scurry up and down walls and across ceilings, and even dash up smoothly polished glass with no effort at all. Despite a century of studying, science has never been able to figure out just how this amazing animal does what it does. But Professor Seti and his team think they've cracked it and are working on both a suit and a vehicle that can do what a gecko can do. So what do you think is the magic of bioinspiration? Why is it so important? The nature by evolution developed so many unique functionalities of biological systems and as an engineer what we are trying to do is try to understand how nature works like in the case of gecko how really they climb and use these hairs in their feet to stick. Professor City says the gecko has millions of tiny hairs on its feet that are invisible to the human eye but which gives it the power to defy gravity and literally walk anywhere anytime. He and his team have managed to successfully mimic those hairs. So these are the synthetic hairs. Yeah, so what we have done is we fabricated uh, similar fibers with our own fabrication techniques. And these white square areas include thousands and even overall area, millions of small tiny fibers or hairs. So basically I'll show you right now we can use these synthetic fibers as adhesive of gecko adhesive. So what we do is this is a weight, for example, this is 50 gram weight. And for a, this kind of surface, which is an aluminum surface, we basically attach this adhesive by pressing it. So this is like the animal presses the feet. And then you hold the adhesive and you can see that it can stick to the surface well and hold the weight. And the interesting thing is after holding it, the peeling is very easy. It just pops off. And this is their gecko. A far cry from the real thing, but it's getting there. So how does this one work? So this one basically uses the legs in cross directions and they put those two legs at the same time and then press them to the surface so that the adhesive material got stuck. And then the other two legs in the meantime lifts their feet up. And basically then the body rotates uh, the middle of the, let's say, center of the body so that it pushes the robot body up, uh, let's say, towards to the vertical surface. So which is basically similar to the gecko uh, climbing for flat surfaces. Mm -hmm. 